Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. We're going to do a little test amongst my three best oil, past oil pastel brands that I use. So I was doing a little demo here, and so I'm going to redo the demo here and uh, show you what I mean by my three best oil pastel brands that I use. And that is Neo Pastel, Sennelier, and the Paul Rubens. I feel that these are probably the three best as far as ease of use, the easeability of use, the colors, the way they work on paper, the way they spread, the way they blend, the way that they layer on top of themselves. I feel that these three are the best, and I feel the number one of these three is the scents. Okay, the scents are the best. They are the gold brand. I think then the silver would be the Neo Pastels. And the bronze goes to the Paul Rubens, okay? And I want to show you a demonstration of why I think that. Okay, so over here we have a little landscape. I'm going to redo it again. I'm going to show you the difference between each one of these, okay? All right, let me get my little pointer. And uh, let's take a look at this. So we have Paul Rubens, okay? We have a Paul Rubens. Oops, that's a, that's a dirty pointer. Let's get a better pointer. Okay, better pointer. We have Paul Rubens here, we have Neo Pastel here, we have Sens here. Okay, Paul Rubens, I used this titanium dioxide gray, or whatever they want to call that, scrubbed it on there, then put a brown on it, and then put some green on top of that, like if I'm making a tree. Did the same thing over here with the Neo Pastels, did the same thing over here with the Sennelier's. Okay, look at the difference, look at the difference in the color. Look at the difference in how the color breaks. Look at the difference as far as being able to see the white of the paper still. Okay, Looks like that needs another layer, don't you think? How about the Neo Pastels? Look at the difference there. Okay, See how that color breaks? You can see the white of the paper. Let's go to the sends. Ooh, look how creamy those are. All right, look how far that color can spread out. Okay. Can't really do that with the Neo Pastels or the Paul Rubens. It's a little easier on the Paul Rubens. Definitely can do it with the Suns. Those colors spread. All right? Let's redo the whole thing down here. We'll do a brand new little demonstration. I'm using Arches Cold Press Oil Paper. I'm using the textured side. Reason why I chose Arches for this demonstration is because this paper is a lot like a lot of the other pastel and watercolor papers that are out there on the market. It's got a textured surface, okay? It's a good surface for oil pastels. You can get a lot of layers with this. All right, so let's just make our little background. We'll start with the Paul Rubens. I'm gonna take their little gray here and I'm just gonna scrub this onto the paper, okay? Just like you would if you were doing the landscape. You just get some, you grab a stick and you start spreading the color around, all right? Let's go back and forth. We'll put like two layers, one horizontal, one vertical, okay? just like this all right let's get some color into that thing okay now let's take our hand we'll just use one of our thumbs here we're going to spread that now i want you to see how that spreads do you see the paper underneath the color i do i see the paper underneath the color all right now does that mean i need to add more color to this to get to cover that paper yeah it does Easy add, I need to add another layer to that, but we'll just leave it as one layer there, okay? So there's one layer of the Paul Rubens. Now, let's grab the Neo Pastel. This is just a regular beige. It's one of their beige grays. I really like this color. I can use it for a lot of things. I like to use it for rocks, mountains, even trees, okay? So we're going to put in a little gray background here, and I'm just going to scrub in some color with the Neo Pastels, okay? Let's try to get some in there, just like I did with the Paul Rubens. Go over it a few times. Okay. All right. There we go with the Neo Pastels. Now, let's see if we can spread that out a little bit. Okay. It does spread. I got to put a little pressure into it. I got to kind of move it around. It's taking a little work. I got to put a little elbow grease into it, but I can get that to spread out. I felt the Paul Rubens spread out a little bit easier than the Neo Pastels, but I can make that work. But is my paper covered? No. Still see the white of the paper. Okay. All right. Now let's grab 
the sense. Sennelier, I got a grand stick, doesn't matter. I could use a regular size stick, but I'm just got the grand gray, right? Let's just put the gray on with the sense. Let's just see how that feels. Now already I can feel a difference. I can feel a difference when I rub this across the paper. It's thicker. It's got a it's got a different feel. But let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cover this up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a get a layer on there of sense. All right. There we go. All right, about the same as the other ones, right? About the same. All right, let's put that down. Let's 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 cut now. Let's spread that out. Ooh, wow, it's creamy. It's kind of buttery, and it just glides right across. All right, it's so easy. No solvents needed. Nope. I can just do this really easily with my thumbs and just cover that right across. Okay, spread that out, cover the paper. Now let's look at the difference between these three. There's a sense. Do you see a lot of paper underneath? Yeah, you see a little bit. You see that white speckle under there a little bit, right? But uh, honestly, that's a pretty good coverage, don't you think? That was just one time. Oh, look at the Neo Pastels. Gotta, I see a lot of that white of the paper underneath. Interesting, I need several more layers there if I wanna cover that white paper. And the Paul Rubens. I still see a lot of white paper under that one, too. I'm going to have to use another layer. Right? Okay. So that right there is a big difference to me. This brand is creamier. Spreads easier. Covers thicker. The color extends a lot farther. And for what you get, for the price of this, you can actually get more. Because the color is thicker and just covers wider. Okay? All right. Now, let's put a layer on top of another layer. Okay, so we're gonna grab the Paul Rubens brown. Perfect. Let's draw a tree. All right, let's say we wanna layer a tree on top of a background. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a tree. Okay, draw a tree. Let's put some branches in. Why not? We'll put some branches in there like that. All right, let's pretend that's a tree. Okay, now let's color in the tree. Let's color in the, the trunk of the tree shall we say, look, call it that trunk of the tree right there. Okay, right on top of that layer. Okay, there we go. Now let's take our hand and just spread that. Why not? We want to make, we want to cover it up. We don't want to see the speckly part of the paper. We don't want to see the paper underneath. We want a nice thick coverage there. And let's spread it out. All right, let's give it a nice big fat base under there. Okay, and let's spread out that color spreads out pretty decent these Paul Rubens man they kind of feel like sense almost kind of do they're close they spread out pretty decent okay there's those uh, Paul Rubens now I'm going to clean my hands so I don't uh, contaminate the Neo Pastels because we're going to use that one next here's a Neo Pastel brown I know it doesn't have the paper on it but trust me it's a Neo Pastel just a brown like that. All right, let's go ahead and draw another tree. Okay, we're gonna draw another tree. There we go. Put some branches in there. Okay, something like that. Now let's cover it in, color it in, color it in the trunk. Okay, there we go. Color it in, there we go. Okay, now let's spread it, right? We wanna cover it up. We wanna cover that paper up. I don't wanna see any of that white speckly underneath the paper let's spread it out give it a fat base just like that other tree we did let's see if we can spread out this color how easy is that to spread out it's relatively easy surely not as easy as that that really spreads All right this one is a little bit different but it's soft enough i can uh i can get that to work All right neo pastels paul rubens all right let's go to the scent and i got a grand stick here this is like a dark brown just a regular dark brown here just like these other ones all right this is a sun on top of the sun let's go ahead and draw a tree here let's see what this looks like all right we'll draw a tree here and we'll give it a branch branches these are branches okay we're pretending those are branches now let's color that in all right get that brown in there there we go okay that's good now let's spread that out shall we Ooh, look at that. Look at the way that color just magically moves across on top of itself. 
It's like butter. It's creamy. It's juicy. Look at that. Look at the way that color just spreads across. Boy, I can cover a lot of real estate with that. Right? I can make short work of a painting if I can just do that every single time. All right? There's that sun, and you can see how far I can, I can keep going. I can just keep spreading that across. Okay? That was super easy. Now let's take some up-close looks at that. Sends. I don't see any white of the paper underneath the brown and the gray. Maybe a couple spots, but that's pretty well covered. Neo pastels. Mm, got some paper there. Got some paper there. I see some paper right in there and even in the Paul Rubens. Okay, got some paper underneath showing through. Okay, you know what? I want to add another layer. Guess what? I want to put leaves on those branches. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to take a Paul Rubin green. This is just a regular green. Look, they call it yellow green. Fine, it's yellow green. You know what? I want some leaves. Okay, we'll do that. We'll put some leaves on here. Oh, what's going on here? How come it's not showing up? Oh, there's one. You know what? I'm having a problem with this. The problem is I can't get this brand to stack up on top of itself. Look at that. It doesn't want to drop the color. I have to really manipulate the stick. I have to like press and I got to twist it. And even then I don't get a full mark, right? What is going on with this brand? Why can't I stack color on top of itself? Why can't I do that? Why? Because it's inferior, that's why. There's something wrong with that. I can't get that to stack up. Now, I got a problem. What am I going to do? I already got a layer here. Am I going to scrape this back? Okay, let's try scraping it back. Sure, we'll try that. Here, I got a palette knife. Can I scrape? Nope, can't do that. Hmm. What am I going to do? I'm kind of stuck. I could use a solvent, but that's just going to spread it around. You know what? I'm stuck here. I can't get any more layers. What am I going to do? Okay, that's the Paul Rubens. Here we have Neo Pastel, right? This is a uh, lime green. Hey, I want leaves on my tree. Okay, let's do that. Let's put leaves on there. Look, look at the color. It's able to stack on itself. I can get that in there. I don't have to press. A little bit of twist. Sometimes the brown shows through underneath, but for the most part, it's working. I can get some leaves on top of that. Okay, I can build out my tree. I can get the foliage in there. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Easy. If I want to press in hard. Okay, sorry about that interruption. I had to take a phone call, but I'm back. And uh, okay, so we left off with these Neo Pastels. And as, as you can see, I can easily stack Neo Pastels on top of itself. No problem. Okay, easy. All right. You know what? I got my Sun here. I got a Sun Green. This is number 72. All right, and kind of the same green as these other ones, and I'm going to put some leaves on top of this tree. Here we go with the green, and here we go. I can get a layer on itself. The suns do stack up on top of themselves, and I can press in, and I can get some texture even with the suns, which is even really cool. I can use texture as a value with the suns because it stacks up nice and creamy, no problem. All right, there we go. Let's take some up close looks. Look at that texture, juicy sen on top of itself. Even the neo pastels stack up well on themselves. Paul Rubens, eh? They don't pass the mustard, do they? Not that well, anyways. That was kind of hard to work on that. All right, that's why this is the gold brand. This is the silver, and this is the bronze. Okay, the Sens are the best. They are the best. And they're most expensive, and now you know why. All right, now, guess what? Let's take the Sen over here. Let's put the Sen on top of the Paul Rubens, see what happens. Oh, no problem. Move aside, Paul Rubin, because the Sen easily stacks on top of a Paul Rubin without any problem. The Sen easily stacks up on top of the Neo Pastel without any problem. Can the can the can the Paul Rubens stack up on top of the Neo Pastel? Not that well. Not at all, actually. I'm having the same problem. You know what? I'm gonna clean my stick because it's a little dirty. We'll start with a nice clean stick here. Alright. 
Can I get it to stack up? No, it just doesn't want to do anything really. All right, can I get it to stack up here on top of this sun background? Nope, not really. Can't really do that. All right, does Neo Pastel want to stack up on another brand? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's take this Neo Pastel. We'll clean it up a little bit. So, a Neo Pastel on top of a Paul Rubin background. Look at that. Goes right over the top of that. Right? We already demonstrated that Neo Pastels can stack up on top of itself. Can a Neo Pastel stack up on top of a Sen background? You wouldn't think it can, but guess what? It can. You know why? Because this is a good quality brand. That's why. This is a good quality brand. Is it as good as the Senele areas? Nah. Not as good. It doesn't spread as good, definitely. But the ability to stack that color on top of another soft color works. Paul Rubens can't do that, all right? That's why we have the gold standard is the Sens. The silver goes to the Neo Pastel and the bronze goes to the Paul Rubens, all right? There you go, guys. That's layering for you, and that is why I prefer the Sens and the Neo Pastels, because of their ability to layer on top of themselves, their ability to spread the color easily, to cover that paper up with ease, and to just to keep adding more and more and more and more and more and more layers with no problem right without frustration right because what are frustrating things about oil pastels is to be able to layer on top to be able to keep going right to be able to spread out and cover up the paper so you don't have that white speckly paper underneath right anyway i hope you guys learned something from this and um i'm not saying that these are bad i like the paul rubens i do i really like the paul rubens i think they're a good brand for $25 for this whole thing, that's a pretty good deal. I'll definitely buy that, absolutely. You know what, but you can't tell me that they're better than Sens. You can't tell me that they're like Sens because in reality, they're not, all right? They're not even as good as the Neo Pastels, right? And the Neo Pastel, honestly, pound for pound, being that it's only $2 and what, 75 cents per stick, pound for pound might be the best. But you know what is the heavyweight? You know what is the absolute gold standard? Right here. And that's why they're $4.55 per stick for one of these little guys. You know why? Because they're worth the $4.55 per stick. Because I can do this all day long without hurting my arm or my hands or cussing. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Just a little quick demo. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a good day. All right. Goodbye.